guys. Welcome back to Genji Plans. Um, first thing, I know it may distract some of you if you're like into nails, but yeah, things have happened to this manicure. Um, I need to deal with it. It's gel though, so it's going to take a while. And I just, I've started like trimming some of them, but it's a mess. Try to ignore it. Um, and second, I'm going to try to make this pretty quick because the baby's sleeping. And if I finish filming before she wakes up, then I get ice cream. So uh, today we are doing a flip through of my pocket file effects Malden. Uh, this is September 2021. <laughs> I always trip over that. Um, uh, this is a, the color is ochre and I love it. And yeah, I've talked about the cover before a lot, I think. So let's just jump in. I'll mention that in the pockets, I just keep some random things. I keep like a couple of checks. Um, some stickers that I use frequently, appointment reminders. I have a jury summons in there that will be coming up and you'll see, I'll tell you about it in the next play with me video. Um, this first little pocket has the washi cutting card I use. And then I think I have, oh yeah, gas card and then like health insurance stuff and COVID stuff, which I know someone told me not to keep it there, but like it fits so nicely and I'm pretty sure there's nothing in this front. Oh no, there is. Oh, there's tiny little uh, stickers and also some stamps. Those fit. It's always nice to know where your stamps are. Um, I have still been keeping my Pilot G2 in the point oh, sorry, point oh point three eight size, um, just in the rings here because if you've ever used a Malden, you know the uh, pen loop is notoriously inadequate. Um, the back then has more stickers. Oh, it has this. Sometimes my HP sprocket will like print an extra for some reason and I it's just annoying but then I just have an extra. So I have a photo of my baby. That was when she was like three or four months old and she just turned one. And uh, oh yeah this. I don't need this. I don't know what this is or where it came from. It's a sticker and uh, it must have come from like an order or something. It looks like the kind of thing that would come with like a product that's trying to get you to pay more for it. Um, I have this like paper clip that is in theory holding the pen loop down so it doesn't get in the way. Um, it's not perfectly flat right now, but it doesn't really matter because it's so small, it doesn't really get in the way anyway. And we'll start right here. I'm not gonna flip backwards, but I do wanna show you this guy here is a prototype. Uh, this acetate's from Peanuts Pinnaco. This is a prototype of a um, an insert that's gonna be released maybe next month, I think. Um, but this is a tab index. So the idea is, you know, you've got your six tabs. Most standard tabs, I think, come with six. So um, basically this is my index of like what's in each tab because I'm always forgetting. And so I think I actually <laughs> have moved stuff around since I put this together. But that's the idea is that like month calendar is in the first tab. And so I actually lift the first tab and it's actually in front of the first tab because that makes sense to me. But um, this works, you can put this in the front or the back and keep an eye out for that uh, over on gagyplans.com. So we'll go to the front. Uh, I've got these frosted dividers or tabs and um, this fly leaf all from a shop that doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, but similar things are available on Etsy. Uh, this uh, is also from Peanuts Planner Co, I believe. Most of these acetates are. Um, then I've got this dashboard insert third. Uh, no, I was going to say, I don't remember the number off the top of my head because it is only printed on one side, the side that doesn't tell you. Um, I've currently been watching all of the Star Trek because it's coming off Netflix as of September 30th. So I had to finish Enterprise and then I'm watching some TOS, uh, before it's gone. Cause I never really did. And so that's what I'm working on. Cause yeah, I started, like I only started watching Star Trek, uh, after the baby was born when I was on maternity leave and he did something to do while I was nursing. And so I've been binging from like the nineties on. Um, but I, I don't want to like subscribe to another streaming service. What do they call CBS all access now? I don't care. Uh, so this is September. Um, here you go. I mean, I did a whole play with me, so there's not much more to say. It is almost over, which I can't believe. But again, here I am. I have not been good about filling out this one thing, one year tracker from my summer touch. On the one side, I have the one line a day journal that I do. And I like, I, I 
get behind and then catch up on that and it's fine. Um, I, but I haven't filled it out for September. Like I haven't filled out the tracker for September. I am caught up as of like maybe the 18th or 19th. Um, and just have a few more days that I'm behind, but, uh, yeah, I just haven't been filling out the tracker, which whatever it's like, it's part of my routine. So I'll probably just keep filling it in. Like after the fact, this part is the Bible in a year podcast. Same thing. I am going strong. We are um, on Matthew right now for another day. I think, um, then I don't remember when I did this level 10 life version. Um, I redo this spread every few months as I feel like I need to reevaluate my goals, um, right now I'm pretty sure what I need to be working on cause I have, you know, things coming up first. It was the baby's birthday party. And now that that is over with, um, we've got Halloween costumes coming up. So that is, that is the goal we were going to, well, I'll show you when the pro project pages come up monthly resolutions. I have not been keeping up with. I've left it in here in order to guilt trip myself. Um, I did do not daily, but I was praying the decade of Israel a lot. September really like the goal was the project. I, I didn't make it a thing. Um, waiting on, I don't use very often. I don't remember why it says paper towels. Oh, I, I do. I think it had to do with school supplies. Anyway, so the first tab is future stuff. So we've got upcoming weekends. There's not a lot going on here. I'm, I remade this insert because it was super useful over the spring and summer like May and June were really busy for us, I think. Um, but it has not been as busy. So I haven't actually been using this at all, which is fine. That's a good thing. Um, future log from peanuts planner co. Uh, then the end afterwards portion of that also from peanuts planner co, but this is part of a freebie. Um, and then these next two are like folded up and I'm not going to show you because you know, confidential, private, whatever, but this is school calendars. Um, so they're all folded up in here. I just literally folded it until it was the right size and then punched it. And, um, then I sliced these so that it would pop in and out easily, but only on the bottom. Um, and then I can just open it up when I need it. So I didn't have to like resize or type or write anything. It just, I just printed out what they sent us. My recurring tasks are now fitting on one page again. It had been a while. Um, so there you go. <laughs> it won't last long, but there you go. And then this is, has been in here since like spring of 2018 when I moved into a ring planner for the first time, it's birthdays and anniversaries. Those are great perpetual stuff that you don't ever have to change. You can just add to every so often as somebody has a, you know, a birthday is born. The next tab is weeks. So first of all, the birthday girl, I always put a photo cause like I said, HB Sprocket. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit of a mess in here cause I didn't really plan it. I one week in and th there's a whole, I did my weekly plan with me. I explained it one week into the month. I switched up what I was doing, decided I didn't like the weeklies I was in. So it's, it's a mess. So I've got these foldouts here. This is, this one is 037, uh, the week or it's not a week. It's just a foldout list. So I like having this on the side cause it's just a little bit of extra space and I like having just a to-do list for the week. It's useful. Um, so then there's another one here, this is last week. And then this is this week, which I don't know if I'll get into. I haven't planned this week yet because it's been a crazy couple of days unexpectedly after the party was over. Um, and so I don't know if I'll get into it, but anyway, so this was the first week and it was fine. Right. But I felt like I wanted to move into this instead. So I switched. So we have all those foldouts there, but you just fold out the one you need. And then I kind of fold it up over the current week so that it's accessible. Um, it just, it doesn't flow nicely when you're going back over it, but it doesn't matter as long as it's accessible in the moment. So that's what we've got. Um, this was the week that I planned, uh, on camera. So I use some photos and stuff or some stickers and stuff for photo day and all of that. Um, things happen. Sundays are apparently not very busy. Then the next day or the next week, uh, this was this last week planning for the party. So the party was on Saturday, uh, Sunday. So I spent the whole week getting ready, um, as much as possible. And, oh yeah, Gino was working early and late again because it's been stressful at work. What's new. This was her actual day of her birthday. And then on Saturday I had a dedicated this one is the cleaning daily. This is insert number 48. 
So I assigned like things to do in the morning, afternoon, evening. I didn't, I, I've been too tired to do stuff right before bed. So I didn't even bother. And then some other things like cleaning and tidying and just, I spent, I, I sent the kids to my in-laws house. It was kind of embarrassingly funny when Agnes came back from being over at her Lolo and Lola's all day. She came into our newly cleaned house, which I'd spent all day just like cleaning the entire house. She goes in and she's like, something feels different around here. I'm like, well, thanks kid. You're going to help me keep it this way. <laughs> anyway, it was funny. Um, yeah, didn't really use my planner a lot over the weekend. I mean, the, the, these Saturday, Sunday, um, I used this list definitely on Saturday and then Sunday I was too busy to be in here and I didn't need to be. Um, and then Monday I took off because we had doctor's appointments and I was like, okay, I'll just take the day off and then I'll get stuff done. I'll, you know, I'll send Bridget to the babysitter and then I'll have some time to myself to do like some Ganji stuff at home. I'll, I won't be working. Well, unfortunately, the babysitter's son is sick. And so instead, I spent the day with the, my baby. I still had to drop off my older daughter. And then Bridget with me, was with me all day. So it was different. But it worked out. It's over. It was a crazy busy day. And today, I'm also staying home with her because the babysitter's son is still sick. And I'm just trying to play it safe. Hopefully, he'll feel better uh, by the end of the day and we'll decide that it's safe to send them back either that and, or he'll get his COVID test result back. It's probably negative. Like we assume so, but we don't, you know, you don't assume anything. There's just a lot going around. Like COVID is the least of my concerns right now. I keep hearing people getting RSV, hand, foot, mouth, um, roseola and like all this stuff that's, you know, dangerous for little kids and more than just like a cold that'll be gone in a couple days. And I just don't want to have to deal with that. I'd rather deal with like taking two days off up front. We'll see if this works out. Anyway, so as it is, you can see I'm using my daily for Tuesday, the little, you know, fold out one. I haven't set up the week part. I haven't done the fold out. I haven't decorated anything, which I usually do. Um, this is going out on Thursday. On Friday, I'm going to post uh, on Instagram my weekly. If I haven't done anything to it, you'll see that. But I'm hoping to get some decorating and stuff done and have that posted up on Friday. So you can see what I ended up doing with it. But I just didn't end up prioritizing decorating because other things, you know, fortunately, we're just taking like the second, a second uh, leg of her nap right now. So I then have another week of this printed out. And then I have to get ready for calling jury service. I have to call in on Friday uh, afternoon and see if they need me starting October what third or whatever. We'll see. I, I hope, hopefully nothing will happen. Or maybe I'll get on like a one, two day trial and it'll be over. I won't have to. Anyway, that bridge when we come to it. Next tab. Uh, this has my inbox. Penis Plotter Co. Acetate. This is also the fold out, the same thing, but I only printed it on one side. Maybe on purpose. I forget. Put a little washi tape to make it cute. Um, and I'm not going to really show it to you. That's kind of part of the point is that I can just, in my flip throughs, shortcuts. And then also like the the flipped out part of it can also be notes, um, general things. Like I think I have my morning and evening routines written on there right now. Um, but I don't really reference it. So no big deal. This little guy from Little Red House, which I got in Comic-Con and he's very cute. He just lives here because like I don't make new dashboards for myself all the time because why? Like where do I put them then when I'm not using them? All of this I posted on Instagram last week. This is all of the party planning stuff. So I don't need it right now, but I wanted to leave it in here to show you. So I started off, I felt like I didn't need like all the way across. So I went with the columns to keep it more organized. So guests, I was like starting off trying to guess, figure out who was vaccinated and then realized the party was going to be bigger and I couldn't deal with worrying about it. So I stopped, um, ended up deciding not to spend this money on stuff, having it in the park instead to spend that and more on, uh, the backyard. So we got some of our backyard done. It looks much better. It's a list of activities, um, menu. I wrote menu and then I wrote Gino. I put him in charge of the food because that's more his strength. I think, um, my strength is more in the activities and it's, kind of nice to be able to just say like people keep coming to me because I'm the mom and they're like what can I do for blah 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 and I'm like well menu is Gino's thing talk to him it's very uh equitable whatever Let's see oh yeah this is the division of labor I was assigning stuff to people um 
and I handed out all those assignments and I think that worked okay. Uh, I feel like I could have communicated better, but I just didn't have the energy to kind of snuck up on me, but it, it turned out really good. The party was a lot of fun. So here was more activities. Um, I decided that like, this is all like, the physical stuff to climb around on. And then we had more like things to do and make. Um, they, we decided to make calming jars, which is like a activity that they did in my daughter's preschool and she was kept talking about it. And so we decided to make those as part of the party. And I think that worked pretty well. We were able to have a good age range. Like everybody had something to do at all times. Um, I can recommend for a first birthday or for just like a, um, little kid. Um, I think it's busy toddlers on Instagram calls them tabies, right? Where they're like toddlers, but they're still basically babies. They still put stuff in their mouths. So you can't do like water beads cause they're going to choke. Or like, I don't want to give her a, a rice sensory bin because technically, yeah, it's edible, but it's also like not going to be nice. So, uh, I got, I was going to get Rice Krispies, but they didn't have them. So I got Fruity Pebbles and it was pretty cute. They ate a lot of it, but they also had a lot of fun just throwing it around. She and her friend, who's also one, um, I put them in a kiddie pool and then like a sheet pan, like, you know, aluminum, those disposable casserole dishes inside the pool with the cereal inside and then all the scoops and stuff. And they sat in the little kiddie pool. They made a huge mess. They had so much fun. Um, so I recommend that it really entertained them for a long time. Uh, worked on favors. My three-year-old was a huge help with that genuinely. And then just sort of like the green here were the things like where and like what fist, what things I needed for each activity. And then, oh, it's not in here. Okay, there's a picture on my Instagram. It's way in the other room and I don't want to stop recording. Actually, what I don't want to have to do is edit a, a chunk out. But um, I made a map of the backyard and I took little tiny post-it notes. It's been really, really slow at work, okay? I took the post-it notes and I clipped them into itty bitty little bits because it's like four millimeters for a square and each square represented two feet. So very small, tiny little bits of post-it note um, and labeled them for like different types of furniture and activities. And then I was able to like move them around the backyard. Um, but it was really nice to have that map because then anybody who was helping me set up, my husband, my mom, um, everybody, my dad was there too helping out. Um, I was able to just say, look, the green is the, um, the pop-ups and, you know, this goes here, here, here. And then they were able to put it all where I needed to go. So that was great. This was a inventory of like who was actually invited and who was coming as far as kids. I didn't care about the adults. That was Gina's realm. He was in charge of sending invitations and also the menu. So that he's the one who cared about how many adults were there. I just cared about how many kids because I was working on activities. This was things that I could do the week before, the day before, and then the day of. Um, that's how that was split up. These then are other projects. Um, this little gold planning insert from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, gives just a small little space for each one. So there's some, that, they're kind of like someday maybe projects, but I have somewhere to put some stuff. So like, for example, I'm going to do these arch trellises in the garden inspired by uh, Roots and Refuge here on YouTube. Great channel if you're into gardening and you don't watch them yet, check them out. Um, but I did the calculations of like how many of everything I was going to need. So I just wrote it down because I already did that work. I'm not going to be able to start it on it until later. I don't need a whole page for that. I just jotted it here. Agnes was going to be Princess Penelope and we were all about it. Gino had started to like mock up his designs for the cardboard car that she was going to wear um, in like AutoCAD or whatever he does. He, he's an engineer. He does this. He knows about that. But anyway, she's now decided she wants to be a candy unicorn. So we're back to the drawing boards. Anyway, I have several of these in here because I guess they fit and I'm not using all of them yet. Someday maybe list. I don't look at it very often, but it does exist. Uh, the honeydew list. Um, there's a dot next to the things I've actually asked him to do, <laughs> um, but he hasn't done any of them because they're all like big projects and honestly not that important. Let's see reference. Is this really just reference? It may or may not be reference. No, it's really not, but it says it. It's just a pretty piece of paper and I can't take ink off of it. The sticky notes, uh, help me remember what order everything is in here. So this is sort of another section. I don't have an extra tab for it. I should, but, um, I'm using these for something else, which you'll see in a second. 
So here's list of craft projects. You know what? I have very, very nearly finished this. I finished the cross stitch. I just have to like iron it and then mount it. Um, oh, you know what? It's right here next to me. So I'll show you. It's a mess because uh, it's all wrinkly, but there, see that? Yep. That's going to go on her wall. I was going to do it before she was born. She's a year old. And then this is the baby blanket that also was supposed to be before she was born. But I think I've abandoned now the idea of making a baby blanket for every baby because uh, like Agnes never uses the one I made for her. So maybe someone will like some of them someday. I'll give them my grandkids. These are some to do's for the garden. Um, I haven't really checked this list for a while. I'm just kind of letting it do its thing. In the summer, it doesn't take a lot of maintenance. So there you go. This is the layout as it is like now, but not exactly. Because um, some of these things didn't really thrive. And But this was the idea for the spring and summer. Um, like the pumpkin I harvested forever ago. So this is old, but it's still in there. Examination of conscience. I finally like went to confession this morning. So it's been a while. Um, and I finally actually used the insert and it worked pretty well. Um, and so I threw it out. I haven't replaced it yet. Then we've got the next tab is, uh, content planning. So this is my content calendar. This is what's coming up in the next week or so. And then I've got, you know, October in here and then I'll need to print more. So this is the left side of the dated monthly. It's an earlier, it's like an OO something. I don't remember which insert it is because I cut it out to punch on the opposite side. This is supposed to be like over here and then the two D's on the other side of the page. But um, I'm using it weirdly, deviantly, look at me. Uh, but I still have some of the older ones, which I can probably ar uh, archive. So what I'm using this top ones for, I may as well just tell you, is uh, we're having a baby in the spring. So I finally get to use insert 40, which is the pregnancy bundle. Um, so I've just been taking some jotting, some notes. I haven't really had cravings or aversions. It, the nausea has not been as bad. So I've just been like the very first symptom I had at three weeks, even round ligament pain. And I Googled it. I'm like round ligament pain, not pregnant. And it's like, well, you could have endometriosis, um, which I don't think I do. Um, and sure enough. So it's, it's going to be tough. I'm already having SPD here at eight weeks, but anyway, that's happening in the spring. So that is why I haven't had a lot of energy. I've been going to bed at like eight, but then I've still been waking up at four. And so that's why I'm still getting stuff done. Cause I started waking up at like four 30, sorry, not four, four 30 or five, uh, to get like video editing and, um, these inserts and stuff designed at early, early morning. Um, and so I've still been doing that and I have energy when I first get up and then hopefully I can try to sneak in a nap at some point in the afternoon um, and then go to bed early. So that's been how I'm coping, planning it to be roughly like that through October and then I will be out of the woods. Um, so we've got this countdown to baby thing, which probably didn't make a lot of sense when I first posted, I'll post the video, um, the video going over the whole bundle. Um, but the idea here, and I, I did have to go through and write all these numbers, but now I have a personalized to me, uh, calendar of like how many weeks and months I am. So my rollover day is Saturday this time. Um, so that's the column that matters when you go down. Um, so currently I am filming this on September 21st, Tuesday, September 21st, which is week eight, because it's it, week eight started here on the Saturday. You could choose to do it the other way where like the majority of the week is on the week you have. Um, but I've just done it so that on a week eight on the Saturday of this line. So 18 weeks, I'm now eight plus one, two, three, um, or four, depending on the scan, I think said that anyway. Um, and then, so over here, I put the month, like where it starts September 1st, October 1st, there you go. And then over here, this tells you like the, the blocks here tell you which actual month it is. And so I'm putting a couple of notes here, like when I got my positive, um, things like that. And now that I have had a scan and determined that the due date that I had was accurate, like the end of April. So I hate telling people my due date because like they assume that you want, they're, you're going to give them a date and I don't, I want to give them a month. So I'm giving them two months and they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, yep, exactly. Uh, so sometime in the spring, and then I've got these by month to do lists in here. Um, some things that I want to plan ahead, like when to order my breast pump and the fact that I already put a link to it in my bookmark bar. Um, 
things to do postpartum. And then tab three of my, I guess, pregnancy section is the appointments, which I'm not going to show you, obviously, but date, time, how many weeks, who, where, and the notes, you know, things like what kind of appointment it is or things that you should talk about and ask, uh, which then there's the questions here, but I don't really want to show you, but this is the questions for the doctor insert. It's also in here. Oh, there you go. That's the back of it. You know, it's, it's pretty basic. QA, QA. That's all in the bundle. Uh, which again, uh, link to that video, you can see the whole thing. And then there's a link to the actual shop in that video. So there you go. Just do it that way. The next tab is sort of a conglomeration. I guess it's the shopping and stuff tab, right? So I have first my meal plan, have that right in the front so that whenever I'm like, what are we making for dinner? I know exactly where it is. And this is, this was last week's actually, but I wanted to show you. So I, you know, I filled out the circles for things that are shelf stable or not. These are more shelf stable, so I didn't eat them yet, but I did need to like eat spaghetti. I had these garlic knots that are in the cupboard, so they need to be eaten before they go bad. The ham needed to get finished because that was left over from the week before. Um, and then the menu for the week, which I gave up on. When you have a lot of leftovers, you just kind of don't. And I knew there was a lot of stuff I needed for the grocery list. So I started just jotting it down, even though I'm finally now, there was like two weeks where I wasn't able to do grocery pickup because we started using script from the school because I want to support the school, but Walmart grocery pickup wasn't accepting gift cards, but then they updated the app and now it's like a combined cart for walmart.com and Walmart grocery, which now you can use gift cards to purchase your grocery pickup. Thank goodness. So that's what I did today. Um, last night was Chick-fil-A. Tonight is pizza night because grocery night is pizza night in our house because like we don't have room to keep uncooked pizzas around. So if we're going to have pizza, it's going to be on grocery night. So that's what we do. Um, and Agnes is excited because she knows that means we get to watch a movie. So even though it's a school night, whatever. Um, we might not watch a whole movie. <laughs> She's three. I have a couple more of those because I was run out. Um, and then this is gift ideas, including some things like, for example, this chatter phone, we were gifted an extra one. So I was able to give it to Bridget's little one-year-old friend who came to her party back at her birthday. So that's why I put the X. So there's a couple of those kinds of things. Um, and then my own wish list, I finally got this game on origin. I'm, I got it on humble. It was on deal. It was like a 50% off deal. Um, it's a co-op adventure game. I haven't touched it yet because I'm busy, but it was a good deal. So I grabbed it. And so there's an X there. And then my to read watch, I finally finished enterprise. So I gave it a rating. I didn't put TOS on here. That's what I'm working on, but I'm not, not watching the whole thing. I'm just watching a few episodes. Then September 30th will roll around and I can't anymore. Um, so after this, I'm not going to touch this. I'm moving on to this page, which is my MCU rewatch. I got like halfway into Iron Man and then I'm like, whatever, I have to finish Star Trek first. And then I'm going to do the whole MCU again. The Incredible Hulk is the only one that is officially MCU, but not on Disney Plus. So I'm going to have to rent it. Um, then library books. We're going to go to the library this afternoon and I have one more book to find. Um, but I actually started keeping track of like due dates again, even though I'm not sure that they're enforcing them anymore. Um, but they haven't been like renewing them early and I actually checked them out myself this time because we went inside anyway the point I checked them out on the tw July 21st then they were due this day they renewed three weeks later three weeks later and that's tomorrow um we're gonna go to the library today because it's like readathon at Agnes's school so we're gonna get some more books and so I have to return the ones we have because it's they only have one more renewal and we've had them for a while so then the last page, I was going to do this quickly and it hasn't happened. The last tab is spare stuff, spare sticky notes, spare pages. There's just a lot of spare pages because um, I guess they fit. So that's good. And then we reach the end again with this index. Uh, normally there is then a little card insert with some credit cards in it, um, but it's easy enough to just take that out and not even bother showing it to you. I think at one point I was covering my credit card insert with sticky notes instead of just removing it. You can imagine I use this as my wallet. Um, I haven't carried a separate wallet for a long time. And I just like the idea of having this with me wherever I go. 
it makes it very convenient for things like um, appointments where you have to like pay a copay with your wallet and also schedule your next appointment. Um, but also I just, I don't know, I like showing off my file of facts. Uh, people sometimes will compliment it because it is very, very pretty. That's everything. Um, thank you guys for watching that half hour video of me rambling about my planner. If you're into that sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe because I post planner videos every Thursday and I'll see you in the next one. Next. Oh, no, it's not next month yet. It's like the last day of the month. The next video is going to be an October play with me. So I will see you then. Bye.